in two bucks and wrap it in paper because you guys need the funds out of 50,000 people, what, 700 people mailed in or something? Yeah, well, you know, that, that last email we put out uh, really set off a firestorm. Uh, people were coming out of the woodwork supporting uh, that sp- the sponsor Patriot program. Uh, and I want to thank you for, for stepping up and helping us because that program is designed to uh, to put magazines in the hands of activists who are uh, willing to hit the streets, pass them out all over the country. No, no, it's beautiful. It, it's, it, it's absolutely exciting. Go ahead, Brian. A couple quick disagreements that will be right on point, not out of left field. When Jesse Ventura was on a week ago, I tried to get through. He said, well, his Barack Obama's mother is American. I don't understand what the problem is. Here's what the problem is. The father wasn't, but even bigger than that. You have to go back to the laws that was in 1961, I believe. And that said, if you're, uh, you're one parent is natural born, here's the deal. You have to have lived here in over the last 10 years, of which five have to be over the age of 14. Now, she gave birth... And his mother was too time. young to have been able to do that. Yes, so he's not a citizen who, who can be president because his mother, under federal law, had not lived in the United States continuously for long enough. No, she lived here continuously, but five of those years had to be over the age of 14, which meant she could have given birth out of the country... Five years after well, the way it age reads 14. is, yeah, no, she was too young for it to be young. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. She, she, she gave birth at age 18. The other disagreement, and I got this information to Aaron the other day with the code word Batman in his email, was the disagreement on thepentacon.com. There was a new release where they went back and interviewed a witness who a pole came crashing through his car in front of the Pentagon, and he said, well, we pulled the pole out of the car and I drove off. And then the FBI wanted to talk to me days later. Well, his wife was FBI. This is Lloyd England, the taxi cab driver. And then, sir, I don't even first, think you know my view on all that stuff at the Pentagon. I don't know what we're disagreeing about. You're just making statements and then saying you're disagreeing. But I appreciate your call. Uh, talk uh, to Dave in New York. Dave, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Thank good. you for all the work that you do. We love you up here. Keep up the good work. Uh, I just want to let you know that in my town, which is very close to the uh, U.S. Open in Beth Page in Farmingdale, our train station is set up like a homeland security military-style operation where people disembark the train. They herd the people into a security area where they're shaken down for any sort of uh, contraband and paraphernalia, and then they're processed from there, put on buses, and then they go over to the U.S. Open, but it's, I just find it very interesting. It's no, a no, little no, get in the Kentucky Derby. Derby. The U.S. Army searches you. When people jump off on the horse wins, the Army comes and responds. They have troops everywhere, uh, uh, train stations, bus stations, all subway stations. The TSA, Homeland Security, total violation of Tenth Amendment and Ninth Amendment, has announced they're going to be nationwide and in shopping malls randomly ordering you up against the wall to search you. Now, I said this six years ago when I saw Governor Ridge say it on C-SPAN. That was the plan. Now they've gotten around to it. Folks, that isn't freedom when the borders are wide open, but there's guys in black uniforms lining you up. We need footage like that. Go sit there with a little camera like you're reading the newspaper. Shoot video of that. We need that type of video. Or don't wait for us. Shoot it. Get it up on the web. Just if you send it to us, we can promote it and, you know, really get a lot of attention. Springdale train station set up like a practice drill of people disembarking trains, herded like cattle into security areas and shaken down for contraband and loaded onto buses. Can you repeat the name of that train station again? Can you repeat the name of that train station again, please? Farmingdale train station. Farmingdale train station. Well, I mean, correct. I remember before 9-11, they had public school drills where FEMA would practice without telling the parents, having the kids put their hands up and go get on buses. And, and, and then they would tell the kids, you're now going to a FEMA camp. Your parents have to come later. Then the Washington Post after 9-11 said, during a terror attack, we're going to take your kids and then make you come get them at the FEMA center. I mean, I mean, folks, this is, they've done this in the Soviet Union. They've done this in Nazi Germany. They're really. Well, it's conditioning. It is conditioning. Yesterday, they, it's mainstream news that all protest is considered terrorism. I mean, the, the, the people that said that are the terrorists. Sir, so where were you when you saw this? I mean, is this going on every day or was this just for one event? 
I take the train every day to work, and they're set up at my train station with all kinds of gates. There's multi-jurisdictional, multi-service. Multi, um, ser- you know, now, that's a federal drill. They had that in Tennessee in a four-state area last year, then again this year. Regular Army, Air Force MPs shut down the highways. We can pull up photos in the newspapers. The governor said don't do it, and the Fed said we're going to do it. And, and the Army was out... And you see photos of traffic backed up miles with MPs searching people's cars going, you know, like it's still photos going like that at the citizens. I mean, Gary, this is insane. Well, this is direct violation of posse comitatus. And, you know, the American people, it, it, if the American people don't stand up, we are we are done. The Ameri- the, forget being America. Call it something else because that's not what it is. Okay, the federal government has overstepped its bounds beyond what the founders. Well, they're trying to pass a law where they can kidnap your kids in Texas without even a court order. I mean, you know, it's on the governor's desk. They're, it's total tyranny. You know, first it's oh, we're just spying on Al Qaeda, and then now we're spying on all of you. And the courts and Congress say they can without warrants, and then oh, we're just going to talk to your kid. Now we're just going to take them. I mean, you know, it, it, it's just oh my gosh. Well, thank you, sir. Get us some photos of that. Get one, fact, get one of those pen cameras. Well, actually, if 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 the guys Google it, uh, you can uh, pull up. It was all over the New York News. It was also in Boston, Dallas, and Houston are doing it because they're. Uh, it's called Viper Teams. Google Viper Teams, or, or no Google uh, G- Google TSA TSA takes over uh, subway, and, and and life will be like the airport. And that's all about submission, taking your shoes off, answering questions of some illegal alien, jabbing you with a poker uh, stick. But you better not have a bottle of shampoo larger than three ounces outside of a clear plastic uh, bag or else you're going to be, uh, you know, carrying some, you know. No, but see, it's all about making you all criminals, right. training you you're all bad. In England, everybody now, old lady with walking her dog, doesn't matter. It's happened to Watsons, both the Watsons. You'll be, it happened to me, you'll be walking down the street. And police walk over, please stand up against the wall, so I need to see your ID of being enrolled in the terrorism database. And, and, and you go, I'm not going to tell you that. And you go, I will arrest you immediately on section 787-4589. And then they also have a headline, yeah, there it is, TSA to replace NYPD on subway bag checks. Oh my God. That's Fox News, and it says everybody will do it. Okay. But that's nationwide. Now, 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 let's expand. In England, Google this. I want to show them mainstream news. And they report it like it's good. All photography of government is terrorism. And you are arrested as a terrorist, but they've got cameras all on you. And then the cops said, well, it's only for real terrorists. And when all these videos are coming out as they arrest anybody and everybody taking photos of their kids at a park. Cops will walk up and say, excuse me, ma'am, up against the wall, please. You're being arrested, section 675 code over the full fat head. And they're like, oh, my God, I'm sorry, I'm a terrorist. And it's just all getting you ready for it that you're part of this. Well, the funny thing, Alex, about cameras... You know, the, the just Google pho- photography terrorism in England. That'll show it. Go ahead. The funny thing about cameras is that they're not going to prevent anything. You know, every if, time if they SWAT is- team us, then they say it malfunctioned. Well, if some, if they want, if a terrorist wants to go ahead and blow something up, okay, a camera is going to get blown up in the process. They're not going to get anything. It's it's not going to prevent it. Well, number one, Google Earth. They already have the photos. It's all about they don't want us videotaping them, and everybody knows it because government thinks it's God and works for offshore banks. Because we will hold them accountable. Those cameras hold them accountable. Yeah, click on that. That's a prison planet. UK government refuses to say where photography is banned. BJ. P online, click on it. I want to go to the main story. That's just the blurb. Click on it. Yeah, but I want to show people the actual BBC. Uh, uh, taking photos in England now terrorism, and it's section. Yeah, yeah. It's they go section twenty four one of section thirty one one a dash c. And how dare you section? I mean, literally, that's what they do. Go ahead, Franchi. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I'm just saying the cameras hold them accountable. When we put our cameras in their faces, we catch them in the act. But it's like this. You have a camera in studio right now. Yes, I do. I've got all these cameras on you, but but wheel that camera around right there to, the, to his camera. It, it, it'd be like if I was a cop in England and I've got all these cameras on Franchi, but then I go, good Lord, oh, my God, he's got a camera, act of terrorism, it's a weapon, it's going to kill us, uh, ban it immediately, Franchi is a terrorist, uh, the crown. Sorry. <laughs> well, you know that my act report was something else too. You know, if you had a copy of Freedom to Fascism, you might be a violent militia member. 
you know? Well, but, but see, they, they say militia member white supremacists mixing that in. Right. And, and let's expand on that. Now the CPS is taking white supremacist kids. But they have a right to be white supremacists. Yes, they have they a do. right to be black nationals. You know, I, I don't agree with, with I mean, Matt Chandler.